सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर टूटोरियल्स सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट गाइज दैट्स माई साइंस फ्रिक्शन थ्री डी कॉन्सेप्ट आर्ट सीन इट्स रियली ब्यूटिफुल गाइज नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ कंपोजिशन गाइज दैट्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट टूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो नाउ गाइज आई शो यू माई फाइनल रैंडर सी गाइज दैट्स माई फाइनल रैंडर एंड दैट्स माई रैंडर प्रिव्यू येस सी गाइज दैट्स रियली गुड Okay, so now, guys, I teach you how I create this type of beautiful composition and 3D concept art scene. So, guys, uncheck this one and create new. So, guys, select all and press delete key. So, first of all, guys, I'm going to take a cylinder. This one, that's my cylinder, and cylinder radius, guys, that's my vertex and radius, guys, change. Guys, radius increase like three is good, and depth, height increase double four. Yeah, and now guys, go to on here, select geometry and wireframe, and increase this segments. Guys, segments increase for more smoothness like this, and fill check nothing. Yes, right. Okay, so next one, guys, press tab, edit mode. That's my edit mode. And press Control R. See, guys, that's my segments. Factor zero, guys. Number of cut increase like fifty is good. Yeah. See, guys, that's my segments, right? Okay. So next one, guys. I create thickness. So use solidifier. This one. Yeah. And thickness like zero point four. Yeah. Good. Right, see guys. Okay, so now guys, apply solidifier and one more time, guys. Press tab and select all. So shortcut command is A. Yes, and again Control R. See guys, that's my number of cut increase like fifteen. Yes, good, simple guys. Right. Okay, so see guys, that's my simple cylinder. And next one, guys. I apply JS displacement texture, guys. I show you my JS displacement texture. See, guys, that's my textures. This one and this one, guys. You can download this texture link in description. So select and apply. Firstly, guys, subdivision surface for more smoothness. Yes, and render, guys. I like four and viewport level three is good. And next one, guys, use displace this one. So, guys, displace create new and strength this one. Guys, strength zero point two. Yes. So, guys, next one, go to on here. That's my coordinates. So, change UV map this one. And next one, guys, go to texture property and apply JS displacement texture. Guys, I have texture. So, select this one. First one, that's my gray texture, and open image check. Yes, see guys, that's really good, right? Okay, so next one, guys, I change UV. So guys, go to on edit mode, yeah, and select all. Press only A letter, A, and press U. Guys, smart UV project check, and press OK. That's it. So go to object mode. Yes, see guys, that's my UV. It's really good. Okay, so guys, wireframe uncheck, and now guys, I change also mapping. That's my mapping texture coordinate, texture property, and mapping. Guys, mapping like seven and Y seven. Yes, see guys, that's really good. Right. Okay. So, guys, now next one, I apply color texture. So, go to on shading and select create new material. Guys, select this principle and press Control T and open. Guys, this time I apply color texture. That's my color and mapping. Guys, same scale size like seven and seven. Yes, that's my mapping. It's really good and. Guys, metallic zero point actually one, and roughness zero point three. Yes, that's a metallic shape, 
right okay so next one guys i apply dotted grid texture so select this mapping and shift d so now guys i apply color ramp color yes and guys connect with this one guys also change this one that's my dotted grid texture and this color ramp connect with emission and emission strength guys i like 50 yes and color guys i change like 0 0.024 orange color yes great shape like this guys mapping also change i like 15 and 15 yes much better see guys that's really good right okay so guys now go to layout and click on here that's my shape beautiful shape so next one guys select this cylinder and duplicate so press ctrl c and v yes select this cylinder too so go to down and guys now i change this height so go to on here height change i like guys 0 0.1 enter and scale size change yes so guys go to on here yeah and now guys also change this mapping this one mapping change so go to on here and mapping are like one yes good right okay so guys this time i use cylinder so guys i use cylinder this one that's my cylinder new cylinder yes and guys i change this one use ngo and guys vertex that's my 16 and radius this one 0 0.005 and enter guys yeah so depth guys depth 3 is good enter yes see guys that's my cylinder like this that's my cylinder shape okay so next one guys this time i apply array and guys factor increase and count increase i like 50 yes good see guys that's my shape and now guys create duplicate so that's my duplicate shortcut command shift d yes and guys this time change factor like this and guys count also change like 20 is good 20 increase yes right see guys that's my shapes and now guys i create randomly position randomly so select and guys i create new collection so click on here that's my new collection and guys that's my cylinders and apply and apply yes right and guys go to on edit mode select all press a letter that's my all selection and press p guys that's my loose part check yes see guys that's my individually loose part right and now guys this time i apply i take guys object mode so use this time empty arrow yeah simple guys okay so guys select all cylinders select all so guys that's my empty object so go to on here select all yeah guys i select all cylinders and make child with this one empty so holding shift key shift and drag and drop and empty yes see guys that's my empty object right it's really good simple guys okay so guys select your empty that's my selection yes and select hierarchy yeah it's really good right okay so now guys i create randomly so select this empty select hierarchy object transform and randomize transform check and guys see that's my location randomize location like one and y axis one yeah see guys that's my position and guys 
one more time randomize yes and guys x1 this one increase like this yes see guys that's my randomly position like 2 is good and by 0 0.5 enter and 0 0.5 enter yes see guys that's my beautiful randomly shape right okay so guys now press 7 and go to on center like this yes and up that's my position yes right and guys select all go to an up guys you can delete this extra part like this that's my extra parts right it's really beautiful guys that's my final composition okay so guys now i change rotation so guys select this this one cylinder and guys rotate so like minus 8 and 25 and 20 yes and guys now select this one cylinder like minus 8 25 and i take 20 yes and guys select your empty minus 20 minus 8 25 and 20 yes and now guys i change set your position yes much better right see okay so now guys i change i take this time camera so guys i take camera and camera check guys press alt control and press zero yes and guys go to on here that's my camera and view guys 3d view check guys set your camera angle and also guys i change this camera focal length like 35 i like 35 yes much better so closer yes good guys set your camera angle yes okay so guys my camera angle is really good so select this this one and guys i change this time position yes really good right see guys that's my ring okay so next one guys i create this time material for this one cylinder so guys cylinder and create new that's my material and use emission guys color orange color like 0 0.024 and 1 guys strength i like 50 is good yes and apply same material on all cylinders so select this first one and guys go to last so select all and go to on object guys link and link material check yes that's it guys right it's, it's really simple to do it guys so click on here yeah and see guys that's my beautiful composition right okay so next one guys i go to on render setting use ev ambiguation check bloom power check and screen setup check yes it's really good okay so now guys i change background so guys go to on here shading and word see guys that's my background and guys color i like black and now guys i use this time principal volume so connect with volume yes and density like 0 0.1 enter 0 0.1 enter yeah simple right okay so guys go to layout and again click on here yes right okay so now guys i apply light simple point light so use point light light and guys go to on here and guys i like power like 1000 enter guys color 0 0.024 and s1 yes guys you can also change the strength like 0 0.5 enter yes so now guys duplicate this light 
duplicate yes so go to one layer so guys go to one up yes and select this light and i change this time color like 0 0.6 enter yes right okay so guys now select both lights so duplicate press ctrl c and v would go to on here and select this one go to on up select this one yes so press 0 yeah see guys that's my simple lighting and click on here yeah and okay so guys my final composition is finished now guys i show you my one frame render so click on render image yes see guys that's my beautiful composition and beautiful render preview right it's really beautiful okay so guys now you can also increase this light and that's my light and you can decrease this this one so click on here guys you can delete this extra part like this Yes, it's depend on your concept. So guys, also delete this one. Okay, so now guys select the cylinder and material. Guys, 10, 30 is good. Yes, okay, so next one guys. I change this time more, delete this objects. Yes, much better. So press zero camera and guys select all. Select more objects like this, guys. Randomly delete. Yes, much better, right? Okay, so guys, now go to on again, and this time, guys, I change this time this one light power like 700 is good, and this one that's my light. So duplicate, yes and guys go to on up yes okay so guys now one more time go to render render image check yeah see guys that's really good i really love this render okay so guys my final render is really beautiful so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you